Hi, everyone. Happy New Year. Well, it is a new year, and I can hardly believe Women Worldwide is in its eighth year and going strong. So just a big thank you. Thank you for being here and for showing up and helping to grow this network. Well, I am flying solo today, so kicking off the new year with a topic that's for everybody It's knowing when you're in your communications flow and getting to that flow much more quickly. Now, let me define what it means to get into your flow. It's that point when you're sharing a story in front of a group of people, you're presenting to a a small group, a large group, you're on stage, you're taking a media interview. It's that very point in time when you feel comfortable, you feel in your element, you are calm, your words are actually matching what your body is expressing. And as you reach this point, the people who are watching or listening to you, they have much more confidence in you, and they're really feeling engaged by what you say. So how do you get to this place of flow? Because That point is so important. I do a lot of training with executives and we're always trying to get into your flow sooner because you want to feel relaxed right from the start. But usually it takes somebody a minute. It takes them two minutes. Sometimes it even takes longer. So I'm going to give you a few tips on how to get there quicker in 2022. First off, it is about your breathing. Now, anyone will tell you that breathing is good for the body, breathing calms you down, but it's not just any old breathing, especially when you want to get into your flow. It's breathing from your diaphragm, that large muscle in the chest that is much more effective. And when you breathe and you use techniques to help you breathe from your diaphragm, well, guess what? Your breathing slows down and you are more relaxed. You need to be relaxed to get into your communications flow. Otherwise, you're actually breathing from a place in your throat and you'll find yourself very short of breath. So breathing matters, technique, and breathing from the diaphragm. That's number one. Number two, I use a visualization technique that if I can just imagine my interviewer when I'm out on TV or my audience when I go on stage or or maybe I'm training a, a number of professionals on Zoom, I try to picture that moment of feeling really great in my element, the audience or the people or whoever I'm speaking with, they're tuned in, they're engaged, they're smiling, what I'm saying feels good, I'm in my flow and I'm picturing it even before it happens. Why do I do this? Because if I can see it in my mind, I believe that it will happen. And more likely than not, think about those times when you went into some kind of interaction and you were nervous and you were specifically focused on how nervous you were. Well, guess what? You take that nervousness right into your presentation, right into your interview. So if you can cut that off before you actually start speaking, you will feel comfortable and get in your flow more quickly. Now, the last technique is really simple. It's to get your words to match your body language. And the only way to do that is to channel energy. So in other words, you could be interviewed by the media and your mouth might be saying one thing, but your body is saying something that is completely different. Channeling energy is so important because when we speak, we get excited. We're about to go out on stage. There's 500 people. And naturally, you're going to have this adrenaline that runs through you in any speaking situation, in any interview situation, or or maybe you're presenting to your team. So here's what you need to remember. Don't restrict where the energy is naturally supposed to flow. That's through your hands, 
your hands. We speak with our hands. And that's how I know when people are really in their flow because their hands start moving. Now, if you restrict your hands, let's say you place your hands together, you clasp your fingers together. If you do that, how is the energy going to get through? It won't. And suddenly the energy starts moving in your shoulders. Your shoulders are going, your head is moving. You need to let the energy out where it's supposed to be. Now I've seen energy released in a number of different ways. I've seen it in someone's legs with knees moving or foot tapping. Energy naturally flows out through your hands. So let that energy out. Those are three ways or three techniques to get into your flow more quickly. I will tell you just to sum it all up, Getting in your flow means you're calm, you're relaxed, and those three techniques will help you. So I'll just say this for 2022 and beyond, may you set your level to calm and may all of your communications flow right from the start. Happy New Year, everyone, and looking forward to a great year together. And until the next episode, friends, stay focused, energized, and feeling empowered. Thank you.